at the back of the drawer slide there's adjustments that can lift the drawer up and down. Make sure they're completely turned off so the drawer can rest right on the surface. And the clips on the bottom of the drawer also have an adjustment that would lift the drawer up. So again, make sure they're completely turned off. I've got shims taped in place and a support underneath. I'll put four dabs of hot glue on. Then the drawer front can go straight in and bond to the drawer without causing the drawer to move left or right. I'm applying the glue to the faceplate rather than the drawer because if I apply it to the drawer, it would all be running down. And spacers here to give the vertical spacing. Now if everything worked out right, I should be able to remove all these shims. And with the shims removed, the gaps will remain the same. If everything went on straight, it looks pretty good. If one of these was a little bit crooked or the gaps uneven, uh, now would be the time to pop it off and re-glue it before the screws are put in. With the faceplate still bonded to the drawer with the hot glue, I'll drill straight through the drawer and the faceplate so that I get perfectly aligned holes for the screws. Six holes will stop the front plate from warping. And if the front plate and the drawer are made of the same material, then there's no issue with expansion and contraction with humidity. Now that I've got the holes drilled to perfectly align the drawer and the faceplate, I can remove the faceplate. And remove the hot glue with the chisel or whatever method you want to use. I'm going to slightly enlarge the holes in the drawer so that when the screws go in they can spin and pull the drawer front in tight. But I only want to enlarge them very slightly because I want the screws to still be tight so that I get a good alignment with, from the drawer to the plate. So I'm going 1 64th larger drill bit. And I'm drilling from this side because if I drill from this side I might end up coming out slightly off-center on the hole. Coming from this side, I remain centered. And I'm letting the hole pull the drill bit in. Uh, it's still not large enough. So I'll go another 64th inch larger. Now I can spin. But the screw is still very secure in the hole. Before I screw the drawer front on, I'll mount the bumpers. And I like these bumpers that fit into a five millimeter hole. I like them better than the stick-on bumpers because they don't slide around, they just stay put there. And they're, they're nice soft silicone. I got those from Lee Valley. If anybody knows where else to buy them, let me know. I like to put a little dab of uh, lithium grease or any kind of grease on the end of the screw just so it goes in nice. And I'll just get that lined up with the first hole. Go in part way. I'm putting all six screws in part way in order to use all six holes for aligning the drawer with the faceplate. When they're all in part way, then I can tighten them up. And then just check that there's a good tight fit on all edges. The moment of truth.
Looks good.